So chat, this is the Outer Worlds, essentially the spiritual successor to Fallout New Vegas. I am playing this blind, I will be playing on normal. Yes. Uh... Bark subtitles? Continue. Let us just get straight in. Let me know if it's still too loud after whatever initial cutscene we're about to watch. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. So this will be our character selection, I guess. Indeedy doodly. Strength effects, melee weapon damage, meant you can carry. Dexterity, melee attack speed, ranged weapon reload speed. Intelligence, crit bonus. Perception, headshot, weak spot damage. Charm is faction reputation. Temperament improves your natural healing ability. I'd like better perception. Hmm, what do you think, chat? One in temperament, one in charm. Then one in dex, maybe? Persuade, lie, intimidate, hack, science, inspiration. Strength to carry all the loot. All in charm immediately followed by no charm. Temperament improves your natural health regeneration. It also affects sneak. So I'd like to have a little bit in there. So we have two points left. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Oh, you have to use E. Okay. Oh dear, okay, this is a lot of options. Long guns? I like the rifles. I basically play all these type of games as sniper. Oh, sneaky sniper, to be exact. So we'll put we'll some put into that. Scores to good use. And... Hmm. So yeah, Stealthy Archer. You had a hand in everyone's pocket. It's true, I did. Oh, Aptitude. Determination plus one, drink effects, block, persuade, shock damage. Hmm. I don't see YouTuber or Twitch streamer in this list, so I can't be thematically apt. Is there a waste of space? No. <laughs> I guess I'll just take... I'm considering taking science or dodge. I'm going to take the science. I wonder what experiments you were subjected to. 
appearance I'm not too concerned about because they won't have blue skin or blue hair, almost certainly. No, they just have normal skin tones. In that case, give me the whitest you've got to match me. Sure. That's a bit of an anime-esque face without the pointy chin. Where is hair color here? Hmm. Is that the bluest you've got? Hmm. Hmm. Thank you, Killer Rabbit, for the bits. Hmm. Ooh. I guess that's, it didn't have a light blue. Dark blue it is. Some birthday bits to share today's positive vibes. Thank you and happy birthday. Facial hair color? Yeah, that's fine. All this is fine. I'm going to wear a helmet anyway, so... That'll do. My name is Flick. Alright, this is our character. We look like a Mass Effect reject. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. <clears throat> it's a fun looking ship. Not likely bootlickers. <sighs> Initiate skip jump. I like when the pilots go as if they were the one who sh got shot, not their ship. Status: structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down. <sighs> Shit. Thank you for the little bits. I like ending as cutscene with a swear word. It really sets the tone. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Lovely. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? <laughs> Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! I appreciate the sense of humour so far. Hello, hey, hello, you got here just in time to not be able to join us for Secret Neighbour. We'll play more soon, though. It was fun. We were like, where is he, hey, hello? Why is he ruining this for everybody? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. I just want to say good luck. We're all counting on you. <clears throat> Ooh, 
Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close I've landed by. well. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Welp. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. <laughs> Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squad. Nice looking. Thing. Very nice Nasty looking. Way to go. Oh, you have a double jump. Toggle crouch. Good. That's the way it should be. I want to punch this thing to death. This is a Dr. Zeus book. Post sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, and covered hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies or sneak up to them to initiate combat. Can I take the frying pan? No. I see it filling. Scruffy hears you. Scruffy don't care. Up. Hey, I didn't get that kill. The person standing there died in an accident. How was that? Okay. Whoa! Ow, my spine. Medical med okay, yeah. It's very like uh Bioshock. Especially how the health looks actually. Hello good hey, sir. You. Come here. Cheers! You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Sure. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. What happened? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean... What are the odds of that, right? Hmm. Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Oh, Americans. Some had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Give me your gun. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. Ooh. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. Um, You've tried the best, now try the rest. Yeah, it just heard me. He gave me the gun that shot himself in the side. At that time. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti-Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. A prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Gross. He's teaching me how to attack and I'm not going to shoot him. I just helped him. I am going to steal whatever that is. And whatever that is. I'm just going to steal what's ever in here. Don't worry about me. Just 
I don't care what it is, it's loot that's going in the bag. For now. I'll become picky eventually. That's my first kill. Tactical time dilation. Due to complica uh, complications stemming from being revived. This is the equivalent of um, VATS. Okay. Okay, get it. Ah, you can dodge left and right as well, yeah. Banana nanas? Mock apple? Telescoping staff. I don't know what any of this means. Also, what happened to the first guy's body? Fish sticks. Sentry blade. Can I tab to my inventory? Ah, okay. So can I assign that to like... Okay, that's fine. And we've got three generic ammo types as well. I saw that. So the bodies disappear pretty quick then. Block, okay, basic fallout attacks. Wait, that first one lived? Cartridge. Double clicking jump moving forwards to leap forwards, great for quickly closing the distance. I wonder how viable uh, close combat build is in this. Ow, my spine. I'll try and I'll close combat someone. Anyway. When there's only one person, ideally. These are innocent people. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! Yeah? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gull on that rung leech! Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Really? How is he? He helped him. Done that. Or I helped him, rather. Space's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Space's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Oof, good grief. I'll try persuading. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation... Yeah, go get yourself killed. I'll be over here. What? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's Cover your ears. Fucking laminated. <laughs> here we go. Good luck, Private Kimball. Pri Private Kimball? Oh, but there he is. They're doing very well. 
Uh, she just shot her teammate there. I didn't use any ammo, I used the sword. It was a misfire. Good excuse. So while they're wondering about that, I guess I'll just sneak in here. Because this is my ship now. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. I don't believe you. Marauder. Please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Ooh, I just got a gun. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. I'm not a Marauder. I'm your new captain. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada. The autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do? Self destruct? Gesture procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to reject all foreign parties in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. <laughs> I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than... Captain Alex Hawthorne. He's dead. Your captain's a red smear under... No. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Yes. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drives It's my ship a now. Power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. Okay. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge <laughs> identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. My ship's called Unreliable? Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Da 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 da! Who is that? You can skill points. Okay, yep. Skill point improves as it grows. Okay. I've also leveled up though. Ah, uh, let's see. That's a lot of points to distribute, isn't it? That will do. Location hit effects on time dilation. Okay, showing weak points basically. More HP, more vendor prices. I'm probably going to go for the carrying capacity. Because you know how these games be. 
On this screen you can see information about your activity. Yeah, okay, I know. I want to explore the rest of the ship first, though. It's true, yes. The, the name flick is irrelevant now. To monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. Repair, upgrade, and modify weapons and armor. We don't have any mods to install. Okay, that's similar to Fallout 4. Can I break some of this crap down? No. We should definitely equip the assault rifle we got. Light assault rifle, sawed off shotgun. Okay, we have a lot of shotgun ammo for some reason, so we'll use that. Toss ball stick. Is this weapon very broken? Yeah. So does that mean it's needing repaired? Because the shotgun doesn't have... Oh, no, it does. Oh, right, how far the... How full the bar is denotes. Got it. So this is very broken. How do I repair it, though? Oh, go to the repair option, numbskull. By pressing E to repair, I guess I don't have enough. Oh, I'm missing two. Alright, so we can't use this yet. I understand. Maybe find some the tools here. Cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. It's fine. I'm just looting the place. It belongs to me now. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex ah. installed it himself. Right before he died. Right before I died. You mean? You said the wrong thing These there, Ada. The crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. That's slightly creepy. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security. Okay, I get it. I'm not allowed to explore fully until I repair the ship. I understand. Oh, hello. I'll be with you, friend. I'm Ernie. I'm the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. The town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Now, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but it seems to me that the ranking officer is dead. Oh, she died? Guards and locals had a bit of an altercation. Hmm. Altercation, you say? Also, so they treat the law like a religion here? Spacer's choice policy strictly prohibits dying during work hours. Guess I'd better get to cleaning up. Can't just leave company property scattered about, bleeding out on the dirt. Sure. Uh, no can do, friend. That armor's Spacer's choice property. Bodies too, living or otherwise. Company policy, you see. You don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. Constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. The fuck did you just say oh, to me, you little bitch? Uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. I'll be on my way because you annoy me. I am very tempted to kill you, but I'm trying to be nice. Where is the body? I want to find it before he gets to it. I didn't see where she died. Because they, they were about... Oh. I believe that's... Yeah, that's her arm. Um, hmm. Well, she apparently doesn't have anything on her anyway, so... Although maybe her gear is with the rest of the body, wherever that ended up. This does appear to be a giant mistake of capitalism, yes. Where capitalism has become like the religion of the future or something. So that looks like a marauder type thing up there because there's like spikes and wooden planks and stuff. So I'm just going to go this way to the town. Oh. Hello, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Thanks for the ammo. Yeah, there's a space USA. Do a quick gander up here. Oh, I guess that's where we're going then. Was the slums on the outside and then fancy on the inside? Um, kind of, on the left there. Can I holster my gun? Hmm. Presumably they don't have a problem with me having it out then. Oh, these are graves. Where'd you come from? Hello, sir. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Ain't safe out here. <clears throat> You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd Acquaintanceship? Hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. That's a fair response. Inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. You just bought this? Did you buy it on the Windows Store as well, at least? Worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? You saw me looting for half an hour, and that's all it took. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Rent you rent money. your grave sites? Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Hmm, I've been doing this in Red Dead, so I'm sure. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Why is he a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Did a giant monster just sure pop up behind us up. or something? What caused that shadow? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy, I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Fair enough. So why do you keep your graves in front of your city? Or... Yeah, it's fine. Is this a little security office or ticket booth? Edgewater Cemetery, okay. It's a very Bioshock looking thing, that is. I'll listen to cutscenes. Oh, that's stealing. And nobody saw me. I pressed E before it was too. Like, I didn't register it was stealing. By being seen if you want to engage in these activities without consequences. Toss ball card Kyle Radu. Teehee. Hope there's a fence in town. Oh, okay. Again, I listen to cutscenes, I just click through these and hope that the game shows me what I need. Wait, there was some information there. Burial invoice. Teddy's corpse was missing a hand, deducted five bits from gravesite fee because I'm a kindly fellow. Okay. Sorry, that was just me doing an impression of what Valinor is going to be doing when he finishes installing the game. Well, for YouTube, we'll be exploring Edgewater next time. 